here is another primary skin tumor. Notice once again that the overlying epidermis appears intact. Notice we have one, two, three, four, maybe five. And here's a big sixth ball of tumor cell. Notice these are just sweat glands uh, in the dermis as well as possibly these are. Notice whatever this tumor is, it is extremely well encapsulated by this fibrous uh, separation called a capsule between the uh, tumor and the rest of the skin. Notice it does not involve whatsoever or appear to originate or be in any type of association with the epidermis, which is reasonable because it appears to be more of a spindly connective tissue tumor rather than an epithelial one. Notice once again, it appears uh, neural, N-E-U-R-A-L, just like we saw the uh, neurofibroma, which looked neural, just like we saw granular cells, which looked neural. This, if you were to look at this alone out of context, you might call it a regular nerve because most of these cells, once again, are of nerve sheath origin. As you know, almost all of the cells within a nerve, almost all of the nucleated cells are Schwann cells because the uh, neurons themselves uh, do not have their nuclei in the peripheral nerve. And there may be an occasional rare fibroblast, but this is another Schwann cell-derived tumor and uh, it will stain with the Schwann cell markers. Uh, it may be called a Schwannoma for that reason, although Schwannomas um, might be better diagnosed from other criteria, but it doesn't matter. It's a benign, well-encapsulated tumor of nerve sheath or Schwann cell origin. I wanna point one other thing to you as well, because the official name in this tumor was called a palisaded encapsulated neuroma. And that's because if you back up just a little bit and you look along here, these guys are almost standing in a row like little soldiers or palisading. <coughs> like sometimes you see the basal cells and the basal cell carcinoma are lined up. And of course you can see this palisading pattern even more prominently in the uh, classical schwannomas, but this type of nerve cell tumor also has some palisading. Uh, do you remember you saw in the rheumatoid nodule some palisading of fibroblasts? Do you remember in the basal cell carcinoma you saw a palisading of basal cells? And we'll probably see another tumor pretty soon called the schwannoma in which this little lining up pattern uh, is even more prominent. Right now, you may have to use your imagination, but if you imagine boom, 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 these guys standing up like little rows of soldiers, that's what we call palisading. Also notice, after all is said and done, if you looked at histology a lot and you know what a nerve looks like, these just look so much like nerves. And that, for that reason, is called a neuroma. This one's solitary because it was all by itself. It was encapsulated because you saw the nice fibrous tissue at the edge over here. Uh, here. And um, it's a neuroma because it's a tumor of the nerve sheath cells or the Schwann cells, not the neurons. Thank you very much.